trip. I already did. Yeah, that's
then I'll call the Lord in honor. Uh, we'll do the first uh, verse there on uh, unison. And if we need the second verse, we'll call it parts. Not the second verse. <coughs> security and the parts, unison is always a way to call it. Then on my God, my God.
Good morning. Today we celebrate <coughs> Palm Sunday. Please stand and face the baptismal font. into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, you may have a share also in his resurrection, in his life. Almighty ever-living God, we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Gospel according to Mark. <coughs> when Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem to Bethpage, Beth, he sent two of his disciples. branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him, as well as those following, kept crying out, Hosanna, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, in the name of Christ, amen. God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. God, my God, oh, why? 
letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. And found in appearance, he humbled himself, being obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory.
Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. The Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread were to take place in two days' time. So the chief priests and the scribes were seeking a way to arrest him by treachery and put him to death. They said, not during the festival, for fear that there may be a riot among the people. When he was in Bethany, reclining at table in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of perfumed oil, costly, genuine spikenard. She broke the alabaster jar and poured it on his head. There were some who were indignant. Why has there been this waste of perfumed oil? It could have been sold for more than 300 days' wages and the money given to the poor. They were infuriated with her. Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you make trouble for her? She has done a good thing for me. The poor you will always have with you, and whenever you wish, you can do good to them, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could, she has an anticipated anointing my body for burial. Amen, I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed to the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went off to the chief priest to hand him over to them. When they heard him, they were pleased and promised to pay him money. Then he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, go into the city and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found them just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he came with the twelve, and as they reclined at table and were eating, Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and say to him one by one, Surely it is not I. He said to them, One of the twelve, the one who dips with me into the dish. For the Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. While they were eating, he took bread and said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks and gave it to them. And they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all should have their faith shaken, mine will not be. Then Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, 
this very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he vehemently replied, even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. Then they came to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, my soul is sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass by him. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. When he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Pray and watch, watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing again, he prayed, saying the same thing. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open and did not know what to answer him. He returned a third time and said to them, are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Then while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. One of the bystanders drew his sword struck the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. Jesus said to them in reply, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day I was with you teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. And they all left him and fled. Now a young man followed him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth about his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. They led Jesus away to the high priest, and all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes came together. Peter followed him at a distance into the high priest's courtyard and was seated with the guards warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. Many gave false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. Some took the stand and testified falsely against him, alleging we heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with hands, and within three days I will build another, not made with hands. Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus, saying, Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But he was silent and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that, the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? 
you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as deserving to die. Some began to spit on him. They blindfolded him and struck him and said to him, prophesy. And the guards greeted him with blows. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the high priest's maids came along. Seeing Peter warming himself, she looked intently at him and said, You too were with the Nazarene, Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. So he went out into the outer court. Then the cock crowed. The maid saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. Once again he denied it. A little later, the bystanders said to Peter once more, Surely you are one of them, for you too are a Galilean. He began to curse and to swear, I do not know this man about whom you are talking. And immediately a cock crowed a second time. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. He broke down and wept. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, have you no answer? So how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave him no further answer. So the Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called, called Barabbas was then in prison, along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to, to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple, and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, Hail, King of the Jews, and kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine, dragged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews. 
With him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At, and at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. His name. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. With the centurion, when the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of the younger James and of Joses, and Salome. These women had followed him when he was in Galilee and ministered to him. There were also many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When it was already evening, since it was the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a distinguished member of the council who was himself awaiting the kingdom of God, came and courageously went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was amazed that he was already dead. He summoned the centurion and asked him of Jesus if, and asked him if Jesus had already died. And when he learned of it from the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Having bought a linen cloth, he took him down wrapped him in a linen cloth, and light him in a tomb that had been hung out of rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, watched where he was lying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we are in the Holy Week. This Palm Sunday, also called Passion Sunday, opens the gates to this special Holy Week. And today is the only Sunday when we hear, when we heard two gospel readings. The first one in the back of the church was talking about Jesus entering Jerusalem with joy and with a great reception. That's why we have the palms in our hands today and that's why the procession symbolizing, rem remembering that day. And the second gospel, the longer one, is the sadder one, but very meaningful. 
as you heard standing. This is the story, a record, how it was, what happened during the time when Jesus gave up everything for us and for our salvation. Hopefully this Holy Week will bring us back together more often. I especially encourage you to be here in the Most Holy Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, of course, Sunday. They're very special for us. They're at the core of our faith. One of the most important days of the year, of course, the most important days of the year. So I'm hoping to see you all, to be with Christ, to be witnesses of the journey here in this church. our faith. I believe one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and visible. I believe one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, to God from God, the God consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. disciples that us follow Christ who enters Jerusalem to ascend the wood of the cross let us call upon God the Father of mercies as we pray for the salvation of all our response is God of mercy hear our prayer may your church proclaim with confidence that Jesus is truly the Son of God we pray to the Lord God of mercy hear our prayer May all nations acknowledge Jesus as Messiah and King. We pray to the Lord. God, have mercy hear our prayer. May we see in each person the dignity of one redeemed by your Son's blood. We pray to the Lord. God, have mercy hear our prayer. Let our Lenten discipline, that our Lenten discipline will continue to transfigure the way we live in ever deeper conformity to Christ. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, the homebound, and those who have no one to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. That our deceased, especially John Nickus, Gregory Jasinski, Jack Carlson, and Dr. Joseph Pavletic, and all those who by their sufferings shared in the passion of Christ may share in the victory of Christ's exaltation. We pray to the Lord. God, 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 hear our For all of the intentions that we hold within our hearts and all of those listed online, we pray to the Lord. God, God, hear our hear our Father, the prayers of your people who celebrate the passion of your Son, and that having acclaimed him on this day of exaltation, we may learn also to follow him with fidelity and love to the hour of darkness. 
the life-giving hour of the cross, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing number 512, O Sacred Head Surrounded. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. To the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, that, through, that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, it by the sacrifice made once for all, may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, and through Christ our Lord, for though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim. down your spirit upon the dutiful. Become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put off for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith of salvation, giving thanks that they have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ we get into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring into fullness of charity. Together with friends as our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, Bishop Gorman, and all the clergy. And also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And hope that in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy so we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the sisters of her spouse, with the apostles, and all the saints with Peter throughout the ages. Mary to be or stay to the life and praise and glorify her Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, you said, if you might peace, I give you. Look at our assistance of the faith of your church and gracious and her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. But I'm only saying the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Amen. Please join in singing the communion hymn number 511, Were You There?
and a spray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as to the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where, we, where you call through Christ our uh, Lord. Amen. Before the actual announcements, I'd like to thank um, people who were responsible for today's beautiful I thought, liturgies. I especially thank um, our organist, Mr. Paris, for a beautiful job at the choir today. I'm sure there'll be more occasions to thank them during the Holy Week next week, but uh, I thought it was exceptional today. I also thank our religious ad, our religious ad uh, director, uh, Mrs. Erickson, who is there with the children who, who were guiding, who were with us during the procession. That was a beautiful sign of faith. And thank you all for being here. Um, this Holy Week starts right now, so hopefully we going to see each other uh, often and be with Jesus, accompanying him during this beautiful and difficult time uh, that we remember and the time that created so many good things, especially our resurrection. Be sure to stop by the table on your way out for Scout Troop 699, who are selling uh, bunt cakes. Hopefully they still have some chocolate chip ones left after Mass. Uh, they are in the gathering space after all Masses today. Our parish reconciliation is tomorrow, Monday, March 25th, beginning at 7 p.m. Our Holy Week schedule, there are no 6.30 a.m. services on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday morning this week. There will be morning prayer in the chapel at 8.30 a.m. Holy Thursday and Good Friday evening services begin at 7 p.m. Holy Saturday service will be at 7.30 p.m. Easter Monday, there will be only one Mass at 8.30 a.m. The youth group will have Stations of the Cross at 3 p.m. on Friday. Following Holy Thursday Mass, you are all invited to participate in the ancient tradition of visiting churches. Please reserve your space on the bus, and the sign-up sheet is in the church office. All are invited to participate in the Deanery Eucharistic Pilgrimage on Sunday, April 14th. A car procession will leave St. Michael's, travel to St. Francis, and end here at Our Lady of the Woods with the 6 o'clock Mass. There is information in the gathering space and a prayer intention book. Ministers of the Eucharist and lectors, you may sign up in the gathering space for Holy Week and Easter if you are able to share your gifts. Thank you in advance. And now we turn to our Blessed Mother and offer our prayers and petitions for our church and for our families as we pray, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy heart, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother of the Eucharist, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pledge to protect you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
I throw it in my bag. And it's...
we're in. So, so, I'll, it's, it's right there, obviously. It's just this. Okay. And, you know, I can say no, it's Palm Sunday, but I'll read it anyway. Um, yeah, and that's it. that hard. 